I wanted to talk about scroll back today in the terminal and it's really taken for granted that if you need to scroll back in the terminal you're in the graphical environment you have your X term or your D uh, DWM with um, ST terminal and all this kind of thing and you patch in the scroll back all these kinds of things that's usually how people talk about scroll back what they don't usually tell you or you probably won't hear especially surprising considering that Linux is the majority device or the majority uh, install for servers in the world which means that the majority terminal in use is the Linux terminal in the TTY and not more is made about scroll back in the TTY well first of all let's what does scroll back look like for anybody who is uninitiated in Linux okay and the terminal let's say so let's look at the screen so you can probably see here um, uh, I've in a graphical environment terminal if I do echo echo if I can type if I can type if I can type echo term okay so an X term so graphical environment X term uh, is the graphical environment terminal for X11 whatever so if I cat out uh, oops, this here this is uh, my little program I say little it's quite long really um, for what I do in the TTY now if I do shift page up as you can see that's effectively scroll back I'm scrolling back in the terminal and it holds so many lines you can adjust it in in configuration but it holds I don't know 2,000 lines so this is 2,000 lines up the terminal. I've catted out a file, it's catted everything out and I've got scroll back for 2000 lines, okay? So, the graphical environment is taken care of. Now you would assume, you would assume the legacy of the Linux terminal would have scroll back. You would be wrong. So let's have a look at something that happened about four years ago. Um, Linux 5.9 dropping soft scroll pack support. Now Linus Torvalds, who famously says never break user space, um, decided to remove soft scroll back, effectively because nobody was maintaining soft scroll back in the Linux terminal. I think some years ago he had a falling out or somebody left who maintained the TTY or the Linux terminal, all this kind of thing, and he left the project and he never really replaced, replaced that person. So he seemingly, or they seemingly don't really care enough about the TTY. Well, let's just have a little, you know I hate reading articles, but let's read this Pharonix article uh, about what happened about four years ago. So Linus Torvalds has decided to do away with the soft scroll back functionality found in FBCon and VGACon kernel code as a sign of the times. Uh, VGACon, FBCon, uh, it's a basic Linux console has supported a software scroll back buffer with shift page ups so the same key combinations as you'd use in say X term depending on how you map it for scrolling up in the output for contents out of view but with most people not making heavy use of the frame buffer console these days well they didn't speak to this guy um, and code being unmaintained it's stripped out of uh, Linux 5.9 and then he made some comments about um, effectively the code was rotting. You can read all this. I don't really want to read all this. He stripped it out. So there is no longer scroll back support in the TTY. Okay. Now, what you will possibly hear if you look this up on the internet is that, well, you don't need scroll back support in the Linux terminal because you have um, multiplexers and you can look up multiplexing in terminal and all this with screen and tmux and I guess Zellige and all these others do that as well and that effectively creates a session in your Linux terminal where you can detach screen or tmux people use it for SSH um, so they can leave their connection on SSH leave a session running in the terminal that runs some process okay that tends to be what it's most famous for you can look all this up I'll do videos on these in the future but right now we're just 
addressing scroll back. So with Tmux and uh, Screen and others, you automatically, automatically get scroll back support and you can copy and paste all this kind of stuff, which you cannot do in the Linux terminal. And certainly we're just focusing on the Linux terminal scroll back. However, there is a third way that people might not be aware of, and I did find this out online uh, a few years ago, that there is a way to get scroll back functionality of sorts in a Linux terminal using some bash magic, some uh, little other um, commands and little little programs and things to get what we need. So um, most of this stuff should come as default. So let's just have a look at it. So I'm in my virtual machine here. So first thing we need to do, I, can, I have actually got a little guide uh, for this in my um, TTYSH. So I've got a, a, uh, a case statement with uh, a, a little bit of instruction to do this in the Linux terminal. So what we're going to do, I think I can remember it from memory. I hope so. I hope so. Maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe I should reference my own. Um, oh. Let's reference it. It's going to be easier. So if I go down to here, scroll back. So, okay, how to achieve scroll back in the TTY. Log into the TTY and run the following. So, right, here we go. So we're going to invoke bash. So I'll, I'm already in bash, okay? Bash, I'm not going to go into bash. Look at previous videos, okay? So we're going to invoke another bash shell session. Now, if you're on ZSH or others, you can... I guess invoke ZSH. And we're going to pipe bash into the T command. T command takes input and put and puts it as output as well as putting it into like a text file or whatever. We're not we're not focusing too much. I just want to show you how to get scroll back. We'll look at the T command another time. Or let's just give you the description. T read from standard input and write to standard output and files. Okay? So we're taking the standard input um, from bash. We're creating a new bash shell, and we're going to output it into this into this tty1. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it into a temp file. So temp, we're just going to call it scroll back. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So one last time, running a new bash shell that's going to put our input. Put it out as output as normal and also put it into our temp scroll back file. So if I do that, you won't get any literal output. Um, and then if I look here, so now log into a separate TTY. Okay, so I need to, because I'm in a virtual machine, I need to send a key because it's not going to work otherwise. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to log in here. Okay. All right. Uh, let's. Set font to one three two B. Okay, and if I go back again, so we've done that. So now we need to invoke the less command. So I do less plus plus capital F. Um, and then we're going to go into our temp scroll back file. Okay, hit enter. Now, as you can see, there's nothing in this file yet. So what I need to do, let's go back into F1. I could just follow my guide, but whatever. What is it saying? Now switch back to your first TTY. So when you want to scroll back, go back to the second. So this is how we're getting our scroll back. Okay, we're using the TTY2 to read using the less command. Less is what you tend to get in your, it's invoked when you open like a man page and it effectively allows you to scroll a text document. Let's just put it like that. And the plus F is effectively following a file as it's being updated. So it's reading the file all the time. So you will see. So if I go into here, so if I do a little, let's have a look. So I've got this cat terminal test, okay? So uh, I can even already, let's go back into TTY2. And as you can see, it's reading the output, okay? It's reading the output. You can see it's reading, uh, input, sorry, and reading it, showing its output in less. 
and obviously I can see it here. So you can already see what's happening here. So if I do a little, uh, let's do a for loop on a file about a for loop. So I do for i and we'll just put it for one to, I don't know, 20. Oh. So do, uh, what do we want, cat? Yeah, that should be fine. And then what done? What have I done? For i in one to twenty, do cat unexpected token. What have I done wrong? Oh, doesn't like that. Doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? For i in, oh, it's because I learned to syntax, James, learn to syntax. Pressure of the videos getting to me, oh no, whatever. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, so I've just done a little for loop to, um, to fill the Linux console with text. Now, if you look here, as you can see, it's read all of this. Now, if um, I come out of that following mode, so if I do Control C once, so I do Control C, now you will see that it's stopped reading the file and I can use my J and K keys to scroll back, okay? Scroll back. And of course, if I need to, um, I don't know, Temp. Uh, if I need to go into that file, as you can see, I'm in that file. So it's generated a file, it's a scroll back and a file. How great is that? So I can do whatever I want. I can take grab bits of stuff. So it's almost like logging as well as um, scrolling back. I think that's great. I mean, in a way, I don't know what the old functionality was like, but so what Linus Torvalds took away, I've given back and if you look here you can you know you can just um, where is it so you can just press shift F and it will go back into follow mode so for example if I go back into this um, to come out of that I go back into home uh, oh, gee, if I just go here does I don't, I don't even think it matters so uh, what was the instruction so if I do less or uh, plus F, capital F, sorry, on temp, scroll back. So again, it's going to continue to read. And if I do control C, but if I press shift, so as you know, control C will let you just read the output as a scroll back. But if I hit shift F, it goes back into the reading mode. But all the time, all of this document has been updated. Now, if you want a permanent document that's not in the temp folder, you can just save it in your local directory or wherever you want. So, anyway, you've got options. That is a nice way to get scroll back in the TTY. So, you don't actually need Tmux, you don't actually need Screen or any of these multiplexers. And it just made me, made me think, if you're a system administrator and you use the Linux terminal all the time, surely you would want something like this. Okay, I know you're doing a lot of logging, probably if you're a, a lot of it's automated, but it just makes me wonder, Do if you're a system administrator, maybe put it in the comments, how does this affect you? Do you just use screen? Do you just use Tmux if you need to scroll back? Or just curiosity. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. So yeah, um, if you're in desperate need of using uh, the Linux terminal with scroll back, um, I've saved your day basically. Let's just put it like that. Linus Torvalds ruined your day. I've saved your day four years later. Only joking. Um, but I don't know. Do people care about this? I, I, I quite like that. So we'll look at screen. We'll look at Tmux in the future. But obviously I want to sort of cover more stuff than maybe just scroll back. Anyway. That's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much it. So, 
you know what to do, the fake YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll leave it there for today. That's it.